When you stumble onto a new site, it has to give you a good reason to stay there. If it doesn't, you leave. If you've already heard good things about the site, you give it a little more time, but still you leave after just a few moments if there's no good reason for you to stay. The only reason why you would stay is that you believe you'll get something valuable that you want and that you won't find elsewhere. In other words, you need to have something unique to offer that people want that they won't easily find elsewhere. That's also called your value proposition. And it's the key to competing with well-established competitors, whether they're companies or blogs. Let's take a look at a few well-known sites. The first is thinktraffic.net. It's one of the best quality sites that relate to building a blog, and it has a huge audience. But when you come to the home page, if you don't know their reputation, there's hardly any reason for you to believe it's one of the best sites on the topic. The tagline, build a thriving and profitable audience for your site, is accurate, but it could be used as a tagline by almost any site that's about building a blog. The headline, where's your site now, where do you want to be, is also very general. The call to action, free traffic toolkit, videos, workbooks and more, you're here, let's do this, is also something that basically any site could say. There are only two things that give you a reason to believe the site is better than almost any of its competitors. The testimonial from Leo Babauta and the design that's significantly more professional than what most blogs have. Sure, you can argue that because Think Traffic is so well known, it will succeed because people have heard of it even before coming to the site. But if you look at Nokia, for example, they used to be the market leader, but then came along competitors that offered everything Nokia did, but also something unique. Because of that, Nokia is struggling to survive. In reality, Nokia, just like Think Traffic, has a lot of things that set it apart from its competitors. The problem is just communicating those things. On Think Traffic's homepage, some things should set them apart from competitors in a way that's difficult or impossible to copy by competitors. Maybe the strongest differentiating factor they have is their popularity. They could leverage it on the homepage by showing their subscriber count. Or they could use testimonials to prove that their content is better than what you find elsewhere or they could use a number of other things that set them apart from other similar sites. But they should do something, instead of just counting on their reputation. Next, we'll look at Copyblogger, or rather, their web hosting company's site. I could use their main site as the example, but web hosting companies are my favorite example when talking about value propositions, because they're notoriously bad at communicating any unique value to prospects. First of all, all my sites are hosted on Synthesis, and I think their service is brilliant. And to be honest, Synthesis site is one of the better web hosting company sites I've seen. But still, there are many things they could change to get more customers. The main problem is almost the same as with Think Traffic's homepage. It feels like they're counting on people knowing their reputation and choosing them based on it without really even reading the site. But that's hardly enough. It might keep the company running and even growing, but they could do much better. The main issue is that the most prominent things on the homepage are not unique. Many of their competitors say basically the same things on their sites, and there's no specific reason to believe that Synthesis is different. For example, many companies offer WordPress hosting for businesses. It's not unique. And impeccable uptime and smart protection are jargon, because there's no specific reason to believe that they're different from the impeccable uptime and smart protection every other similar company promises. There's a lot that they could change to significantly improve their conversion rates. But the most important change would be to give people clear, specific reasons to believe their service is better than others, and do it right on the homepage. As I said, I know their hosting is as good as I can ever hope, but to find any proof to back that up, you need to read through the whole site, and still you might not be convinced. And that's just because they don't use their value proposition nearly as well as they could, even though in reality, it's very strong. The last example is a bit of a challenge for me because it's already very good. It's from Social Triggers. In case you don't know, Social Triggers is run by Derek Halpern, and the topic is basically the crossroads of marketing and psychology. The first thing you see on the homepage is the opt-in form. It makes a big promise. It says you'll learn how to turn random traffic into loyal subscribers, how to persuade people to buy your products, and how to encourage people to share your content and website. So the promise is good, but I've seen many people, mostly amateurs and total beginners, make the exact same promise. Now, there are several things that separate the promises on social triggers from most other sites. One of those is the actual quality of content and expertise, but there's no mention of that in the opt-in form. There is the testimonial from Chris Brogan, which adds credibility, but I assume that many visitors don't notice it because it's so small. The second thing is that social triggers has a large audience, 
but there's no mention of that either. And then there is that the approach isn't common. Most sites don't talk about how to use the findings of psychological studies in marketing. But I don't think that's too obvious in the opt-in form. It says, now's the time to learn how to use psychology to achieve all the promised outcomes. That's not very specific. Many sites could say that if they even occasionally talk about psychology or persuasion or basically anything relating to those topics. Another thing that seems to be missing is a good reason for opting in. What I mean by that is that the underlying promise of the subscription, not the site, is just convenience. What you're promised to get by opting in is updates. You can see those updates by visiting the site. You don't need to opt in to get them. So the promise is really just convenience. By opting in, you don't have to come to the site to know when there's new content. Now, I happen to know that Derek gets a good conversion rate with this opt-in form, and I can see why. But much like with Think Traffic and Synthesis, I'm sure his conversion rate could be even higher if he communicated his value proposition more clearly in the opt-in area and if he added an extra incentive for the subscription. So how can you beat your much bigger competitors? There's really no other sensible way than to form a strong value proposition and communicate it clearly. Unfortunately, most people don't know what their value proposition is. When I ask my clients what is their value proposition, they usually say something that's a tagline or an advertising message or even a general product description. Those don't work as a value proposition. Your value proposition gives people a good reason to buy your product or join your email list instead of buying a similar product from one of your competitors or joining their email lists. If you don't have a strong value proposition, or if you just don't know what it is or how to communicate it, you can't expect people to choose you. They'll always go to a bigger, better known competitor or anyone who has a strong value proposition. The problem is that forming a strong value proposition is a really complex task. Most people come up with something that won't really work even if they know what they're basically looking for. To help you, I created a five-step system that shows you what will work as the core of your value proposition. You can download a free PDF that explains the system at petersandine.com slash value. It's only a couple of pages long, but the system can really help you see what you need to do to get better results. You'll find the things about your business that will work best as the core of your value proposition. Or it might be that you find out that you need to change something so that you can compete with even the biggest companies and blogs in your field. Just click the link below this video to get the PDF. I hope the examples from big sites help you see how important communicating a strong value proposition is. The PDF will help you find the core of your value proposition, but the real difference comes from using it. So don't just create it, also use it. And you might see a huge difference in your success. Cheers.